So we'll do the same thing with this thing today. I'll get it opened up, we'll get the battery charged, and uh, we'll take a better look at it. All right, we got one battery. It's got the nice, this one is different than the uh, chainsaw. 20, 20 volt, one and a half hour amp battery. Charging cord. This is the, the grass shear. And then we have the hedge trimmer attachment. Comes with some nice guards. And that's about it. Alright, so far so good. I like that it has the guards on it. We'll get the battery fully charged. I know it says it's charged, but I'm gonna put it on there um, for a little bit anyways, and then we'll take it outside and try to find something to cut with it. I don't really have any bushes. Haley and I took out the rhododendrons with the excavator, so we, now we don't have anything to test this up. Haley's checking the manual to see if we gotta oil these blades. It doesn't say anything on the tool itself, but I would assume that you would wanna oil these from time to time. All right, so these are some flowers that I killed. Um, so we're gonna try the hedge trimmer out on some flowers. I don't have many hedges around here, but when I'm mowing, I got some of these saplings. So let's try it on this. Uh, oh, nice. So that's about the max capacity you see for this thing. Let's try this maple. I mean, if you had something like a, you know, a bush that you could actually use this on a hedge, I think it would be nice because you could like get it really nice and uniformed. We're just using it on some of this brush here, but it works fine as long as you don't push it over the limits. Let's film a field expedient tool change. So you press those in. It's kind of a pain actually, it wants to keep sticking. I will tell you this battery fits in there a lot better. With the uh, mini chainsaw in that video that I did, the review on that, as I was using it, it was coming loose and uh, causing the machine to uh, malfunction. So this one so far has not done that. Let's go find some grass. We'll use this. What about this stuff here? This one's a lot more satisfying.
That sucker's sharp. This is the grass shoot. There we go, that was a little. Battery's probably getting a little low. Let's see. Well, we still got full battery. All right, so what do we think about this thing? I think for the average homeowner or a small gardener, this tool would be great. For someone like me with excavating and a large property, we don't have many hedges here, um, but I could see us using it from time to time, trimming uh, around some of the bushes that we mow or some of the trees that hang low. You could see that it clipped those pines just fine. Um, I probably wouldn't go out and purchase this tool myself, but uh, I want to thank Saker for sending me this. This is the second product that they've sent me. I feel like this one is a little bit better quality than that chainsaw. The chainsaw just kind of felt in your hand like a little bit kind of janky. Um, but this, the battery fits in there nice. Um, I did like how it articulates. We looked in the manual and we didn't see anything about oiling the blades. But if I was to own this tool, obviously you'd want to sharpen it like your chainsaws and what, and the other um, tools that have blades. So I would keep it lubricated for sure. Um, this mechanism here does pretty good. That's what slides in there. Like I said, I mean, for certain people, this tool is great. Um, again, I want to thank the people over at Saker for sending me these products. Uh, I appreciate it. Some of the... Uh, products that I've looked up on Amazon of Saker. Um, I like their innovation. They come out with some cool stuff. Um, it might not be the highest quality power tool. It's not your Milwaukee or your Makita, but I like the innovation and um, they seem to have uh, some of their ideas come out a lot you know, sooner than some of these other, other brands. So I award them for that.